What is up? I was scrolling the internet last few days in order to find some tips that could help me to speak any language fluently. I have found one method that just blew my mind. It actually works. Talk to yourself in a foreign language. I was using this method unintentionally since I'm 14, I guess. That time I was living in a small Russian village where no one speaks English fluently or any kind of English. It's, it's expectable, you know, it's expect it's okay, it's okay, we got used to it. And time to time, in order to practice the language that I'm learning, I was recording some videos in English. Even though it was hard for me because I didn't have enough vocabulary in my mind, <laughs> so I was kind of struggling to express my emotions, to express my feelings, to just share some thoughts or maybe to share some ideas, you know. Looking back, this is so cringy. However, it will show you that this method works. So you could feel that I'm kind of struggling and uh, you will see the results because like now I'm talking not that bad, you know. Hello everyone, today I'm so tired and maybe the light is not so good, but I now I'm going to wash my, wash my face and that's all, yeah. Because I know that everyone loves them, they are so brilliant people and I wish they will be so happy together. And actually it is so hard for me to say it in English because I don't know exactly what word I can use. What words I can use. Mmm, sweet, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> that was difficult for me, extremely difficult. However, you see now that this method worked, for me at least. I'm not telling like this is like the only way to improve your language. However, it affects your fluency in uh, any language, I guess. You just need to be more patient and also be consistent. So you're learning new phrases, you're watching videos, you're doing this, this, that, and you will see the results. Plus talking to yourself because I was not that stressed when I was talking to myself. Depending on your level, you could use those topics as an inspiration. So you will talk to yourself maybe about weather or maybe like a small talk or maybe about traveling, lifestyle, the problems and stuff like that. I actually have a question for you. Which language do you use when you think, like in your mind? Do you have any language? Because I believe I don't have any language no matter what. I'm just, I'm just thinking by images right to me. But please, write like your native language and language that you're thinking on. So I was making conversations with myself and maybe from the side it looked like kind of cringy or creepy. However, it worked and I'm using this method even today. While I'm home, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> right now I'm also doing it, you know. And uh, But at least now I imagine like uh, an audience like you. My listeners it's so cool <laughs> and actually thank you so much for any reaction and any comments below just because i could feel like we're building some ecosystem here like a local community you know like we're learning languages and stuff like that and i do like that people are motivated to do so like to learn new stuff and this is so inspiring for me thank you but instead of talking in english uh, all the time i'm talking to myself in danish so it helps me to improve this language and I'm also trying to implement also Ukrainian, even though it's kind of hard for me to talk. I do understand a lot of stuff, but talking, girl, bye. So it helps me to improve my skills in building sentences and be more confident when I'm talking in pronunciation as well. While you're talking to yourself, try to make notes because it will help you to find out which words you don't know how to use. So afterwards, you will translate them and maybe find like three expressions and build maybe a few sentences with it. It's gonna be very efficient because you will know how to use it properly and if something like this sentence will pop up in your memory and you'll be like girl i know how to use it i know where it's coming from i know everything about this word period so it will help you to implement new words in your daily conversations more easily it's gonna be easy easy peasy let's try to do like a conversation uh, one minute in danish and one minute in ukrainian in fact i didn't talk for one minute but i will just clip it for you to make it more interesting however it took me like a while i was talking for seven minutes ukrainian and seven minutes danish let me pay attention that i didn't do it at the same day so i was not crazy, even though while I was talking Ukrainian, I was using Danish words, like, girl, what's wrong with you? I'm still kind of struggling to talk in Danish and Ukrainian, especially when we're talking about some spontaneous stuff, 
However, here's the result. Sudden, skin is like a kun odensk. Yeah, need to do so stressful, but they're okay. And yeah, I'm gonna say that yeah, have I already Denmark I eat or dig so long till, but I hope that my my dansk dansk språk kommer det er på vej. Men jeg kan godt se noget progress eller ja, progress som øh, i dansk sprog, som jeg lige snakker i om på. Men nogle gange danskerne er lidt øh, overrasket eller øh, chokeret at, at høre om øh, jeg kommer fra Rusland. Der er faktisk 6.000 Rusen i Danmark, som bor i Danmark, og jeg var, jeg var lidt overrasket, fordi det er ikke så mange mennesker. Jeg har aldrig mødt russerne i Danmark, men jeg har mødt mange øhm, ukrainer. Ja, men det var spændende. Tusind tak for din øhm, attention. How to say attention? We'll write it down. Så jeg tror, det var det. Hej. Ja. Jeg er en døje... Jeg er en døje dobre. Jeg rozmavljaju ukrajinske mogu, i tomu, što ja... Meni treba... Bilš govoriti, čim slušati. Slušati. Ja govorim trochu ukrajinsko, i tomu, što... Ja rodim z... Oblasti, jaka... Jaka razpolagaje se. Дуже близько, близько к Україні. Коли я був як дитина, ми дуже частенько каталися у Харків. І це було просто як мегаполіс. Коли мені було, мабуть, 20 років, я переїхав жити за кордон. Це було дуже важко для мене, але тому що я довжен спілкуватися датською десь. Але я надіюсь і мрію, що я вилучу датську мову, і це буде не так важко для мене. I think that was enough. I was kind of stressed, but at the end of it all, I think I've managed it. And of course, Maybe somewhere I, again, I switch to Russian, just to say with the Ukrainian accent, but it's not right. Uh, please, if everyone speaks Ukrainian and you're watching this video, let me know in the comments which words I didn't say properly, or maybe I just mispronounce it, you know. So yeah, the, but this is some sort of experience. So I didn't know how to use few words, like in Danish it was attention, and in Ukrainian it was those words. So let me show you how I made the notes and how it worked for me. So with word attention, I was trying to find some sentences that were already written on the website as like a Danish vocabulary. Speaking about Ukrainian, I found some most common phrases so I could use them if we're talking about daily conversations. I would also recommend you to record some videos so you will see by yourself that, okay, I'm struggling with this word, with these sentences, with this pronunciation, and you will just, step by step, you will be working on your speech and on your fluency. However, remember, things take time, my favorite phrase, you know, and practice, I guess. So keep going, stay consistent, stay strong, and see you in the next video.